yoga happy friday and happy day six of lucia's 75 hard crazy <laughs> I'm, t I'm exhausted 75 hard is hard guys i mean i guess that's why they call it 75 hard but like my bones no not my bones my muscles are just really feeling the two workouts a day <laughs> if you haven't been following my 75 hard journey so far the rules are a little bit different than the typical rules that you see instead of doing an outside workout i'm just doing two workouts it can be outdoors or indoors but just like two workouts a day one of them doesn't have to be outdoors just because it's been like negative degrees in chicago and i just like can't handle that instead of reading 10 pages i journal because i'm i'm pretty good about reading and i want to make my 75 hard challenge something that's going to be challenging for me and journaling every day is something i've been struggling with cheers you guys i really need this protein shake right now <laughs> Then I'm adding on getting 10k steps a day because that's a huge goal of mine. And then for my diet, I'm already gluten free because I have celiac disease. And the rules technically are if you already have a diet, then like you don't need to do one. And that's my diet and I can't add anything else. <laughs> it's already hard enough. And I don't think I'm missing anything. I think those are all my rules. I am extremely tired, so I could be missing something. There's just like other habits I've been incorporating, but they're not like a part of the 75 heart challenge. This tastes delicious. Oh my God. I'm just coming back from a hot yoga class it was really good it was really difficult i think i just my muscles are like what's going on lucia you went from zero to 100 so uh, my body just feels like super tight and by the end of it i was finally like okay i'm awake and then it was over but it was definitely a good way to start the day it's been so rainy and cozy in chicago it's like super overcast outside and like rainy vibes like it was like misting on the way back here but it's not as cold as it has been it's like 37 degrees this morning which for chicago winter standards is so warm so can't really complain about the weather it's like a nice cozy feel we're gonna have a fun friday working from home going to dinner tonight doing 75 hard so if you're new i'm lucia i'm 24 and i live in chicago and i work in into five in advertising so it's a work day and let's hop in the shower and get this sweat off and make some coffee in my new espresso machine because i really need some caffeine <laughs> i also need to get some cleaning done today i feel like the apartment is a bit of a mess especially over here i'm obsessed with this set i feel like i've showed you guys it a million times i wear it like every week it's from set active it is just so comfortable and it's perfect for yoga it's like the best yoga set in my opinion let's shower guys happy friday <laughs> Spent like 15 minutes lying in bed because I am literally so exhausted. I also think it has to do with just like the gray overcast weather. It's been like that since Tuesday. So I think it's just a lot of like, I'm tired, but I made my Nespresso. I still haven't gotten the like espresso pods. It's just like a full kind of coffee cup pod because that's what came with the Nespresso. But we'll probably get the espresso one soon because I want to start making lattes, but this is still really good. Yum. And before I get all into the work day i'm gonna do some cleaning on the dishwasher just like put up all these like packages and undo these like boxes that i have and all that sort of stuff just to have clear space clear mind and then finally be able to like log on to the work day and and start getting everything done so that's the plan
just checked my emails I have some calls coming up in 10 minutes I need to reheat my coffee it's kind of cold again I put some laundry in so it's a bit loud over there but I want to do my journaling which is part of my 75 hard challenge so for my journaling and if you've been following me for a while you probably know this but I like starting with my daily stoic it's a book of like meditations there's 366 so I actually get to do 366 this year since it's a leap year, but I basically just go to today's date. So it's the 26th and you just read like this little quote and reflection and it just like gets me in the mood to be a bit more reflective and like do my journaling stuff. So I'm going to read this. So this passage is talking about mantras specifically the mantra i have the power within me to keep that out i can see the truth it's like using a mantra to find clarity and then for my journaling i love using my papier little notebook it's so cute but i basically just write the date at the top and then i write down affirmations so i kind of just like affirm what i want to feel today i'm gonna write i feel energized because I need that energy today. I am kind. I like just like affirming things that I want to be and like show up for, for the day. I am confident. I am articulate. And then after that, I like to write down what I'm grateful for. So I'll put, I'm grateful for my body. I am grateful for the ability to communicate. And I am grateful that there are so many gluten-free options in Chicago. Cool, that's my little journaling. I might do more later, but. That's all she wrote for this morning. Very quick and easy. Simple to fit in once you do it, but it's so easy to forget. I also do like doing the New York Times like crossword puzzle and Wordle in the morning. I might do the Wordle really quick before I need to hop on these calls. Actually, no, I don't have time. I need to heat up my coffee and then we're gonna hop onto these calls. I also might make myself look a little bit more presentable before it like Put on some tinted moisturizer and then like brush my hair <laughs> so let's do that and then hop on to our calls okay grabbing my coffee i am so weird and i always drink hot coffee with a straw just makes me like drink it faster i feel like i don't know all right i really need to down this you guys i'm exhausted i know i keep saying that but it's true all right i'm gonna get organized for this call hi i'm pretty good
done with my calls. We ended early, which is amazing. And now it's time to get a bunch of work done. I have, let's see, a little less than an hour. I have 45 minutes until my last call of the day. And I have some like fun things this afternoon as little work breaks. So I need to get a lot of like heads done work done. I actually have quite a bit on my to-do list for a Friday. So I need to get all of that done. And then I also need to plan when I'm gonna do my second workout and get in more steps. So I might need to do a walking pad moment, but I really don't feel like it. I also need to go ahead and switch out my laundry and then go back to this headstone work stuff. I love getting laundry done on Fridays because I feel like the laundry basket just gets so full throughout the week. And we normally do laundry on Sundays, but sometimes I just don't wanna wait till Sundays. And when I'm working from home alone, it's like a lot less chaotic trying to do laundry in the workday. I feel like if Vicente and I are both working from home together, it's like, it's too loud and like it's too much going on to be doing laundry with us like both in the space. So it's nice when I'm like, working from home alone on a Friday and just like getting my shit together while getting a lot of stuff done and getting excited for the weekend. So let's switch out laundry and then get to tackling all of this work stuff you have to do. All right, I'm hungry. I'm gonna take a quick break and make an avocado bagel. I think I have a good avocado in here. All right, my call is in four minutes, so I need to gobble this down. Yum. Okay, got my laundry all sorted out. My calls are also over for the day. I'm getting ready just like a little bit because I have a little coffee date at one, kind of like a little networking coffee date. I thought it'd be good to schedule it on a Friday. Um, we're meeting at La Cologne, so should be fun. I feel like I don't do a lot of these, so it's fun to just be able to like meet new people and stuff. So I'm excited. I'm just gonna put on like a little tinted moisturizer. I'm gonna do like a full beat of makeup later today, and I just, I don't want to do that yet. So <laughs> I want to try out, I ordered this tinted moisturizer from Elta MD because I just thought it would be good for the summer. Let's try it out. I love just like the regular Elta MD sunscreen. It's like my favorite. Um, I feel like I just need a little, a little tent sometimes, especially for something like this. It's also good because I'll be getting steps in today for like the first time ever. I guess I got steps in when I went to my workout class, but yeah, I still don't know if like steps from the workout class count. I haven't been wearing my Apple Watch in workout classes, so like I have no idea what that would even be. I feel like in yoga, it's probably not even too many steps, um, versus like ballet is probably a lot. So yeah, it's like, it's hard to keep track of. Also, I just, I haven't been wearing my Apple Watch at all, so I'm just going off of what's like on my phone. So I'm sure that there's even more steps just from like walking around my apartment. Probably not too many, but maybe at least a thousand a day. I don't know, I could be, way overestimating but it'll be nice to get out of the house a little bit <laughs> and start tracking on my steps because at this rate you guys i don't know how i'm gonna get 10k steps today but we will do it we will do it i'm also like if i go on a run does that count as my steps because i feel like if i go on a mile run like that's easily like 10,000 steps i feel like because you're doing like so many just like really fast steps I don't know. Okay, this moisturizer feels really good. I don't see too much of a tint, honestly. I think also my skin is just still really red because of recovering from my skin treatment and also just winter. I feel like I'm gonna have to put some concealer on top of this. But I do like this Makeup by Mario concealer that sets automatically 
for this very purpose if you're just like kind of running out for something it's pretty nice it's pretty heavy honestly so this might be a bit too much coverage but that's okay i feel like fridays are always just it, there's a different feeling in the air like i feel i'm never as productive on fridays as i usually am on other days of the week like i just feel like the day has flown by so fast and like i've gotten stuff done but i think because like friday you're anticipating like hard stop at 5 p.m or even earlier if you have like plans also like scheduling this networking thing in the middle of the day too i think like like fridays are just more chill which is nice but i feel like sometimes i get overwhelmed <laughs> i really want to find a good glow tint that doesn't clog my clog <laughs> can i talk it doesn't clog my pores because i used to love this super goop glow screen but it was really clogging my pores so i need to find a good like glow that I can put under my makeup because I went so hard for that glow screen and I got so many compliments on my skin when I would wear it and that was when I had acne. It really did wonders but not worth clogging my pores over. Just a little bit of coverage. I'm going to change into some leggings and a hoodie I think and then need to run pretty soon but I want to like turn on Ruby while I'm gone so she can do like a full vacuum sweep of the entire apartment so i need to like make sure no cords are in the way for her ruby is <laughs> my roomba vacuum that's what we call her because we don't have a pet and she's like our little pet so i'm gonna get everything situated for that turn on ruby yay <laughs> i always put this face up here we go gonna go on my little coffee walk get some steps in back from my coffee networking chat it was so nice this is your sign to just go meet up with someone it's so fun to connect with new people and i'm about to hop onto a call that just popped up so let's get back to work i'm gonna finish up this thing it's already 3 49 how did that happen <laughs> Alright you guys, I'm popping open a poppy to try and de-stress. It's like my third fun beverage of the day. My matcha and my coffee and now this. But I love the watermelon flavor. It's so good. Shout out poppy. I'm just trying to de-stress because like why am I so busy and stressed and there's so much going on at 4 p.m. on a Friday? Like it should be the laptop is slow to shut down Monday time, but it is far from it i just gotta get some more stuff done but we got this the end is near we're almost there and finally at 5 12 p.m we slam laptop shut until monday i have another package so i'm gonna go pick it up i'll be right back oh my god you guys i'm like stressed the stressful energy is staying with me and i need to get it out of my head out of my head all right guys i'm gonna take a little break before i get ready and fold my laundry and like put on a vlog or something i think i'm gonna do my stretch when i get back tonight because or maybe i'll do it before i leave my like second workout of the day for 75 hard but i'm doing pretty good on my steps honestly just from like walking earlier today and i'm gonna walk more until like go to dinner so i think i'm gonna hit my 10k steps naturally which is crazy i want to show you guys this new backpack tote sort of bag i got it's from ander and i'm so excited to wear it it just looks really really cute and like really high quality leather i can't wait to wear this Okay, it's now 6.05. I'm gonna start getting ready and do my makeup.
All right, Vicente and I are heading out the door in un minuto. This is the fit. The sweater is Princess Polly. The skirt is Abercrombie. And just got my heel boots and purses Cezanne. I'm excited. We're going to Olio e Piu. It's like this Italian restaurant <laughs> for a little Friday night date night. I'm excited. Good morning, you guys. Not me completely passing out last night. I did do my stretches before I went to sleep, which is key, but I like, didn't even think about vlogging. I was so bloated from dinner. Pro tip, just do the stretch before dinner on Friday night. Don't do it after, because it wasn't fun. But yeah, dinner last night was so good. I just like, I ate way too much food. It was at Olio e Piu. I don't know if I'm saying it right, but it's this new Italian restaurant in River North. I have one in New York too. Um, they just opened one in Chicago and it was so yummy. I made myself a coffee this morning. I think I might just continue the vlog on to today for fun. Today for my two workouts, I'm gonna do a stretch this morning because I still feel really tight, especially in my upper body. I wanna do one focused on the upper body. And then I have a Pilates class at 12, which I'm excited about. And I feel like I'm gonna do a lot of walking around today just to like get to all of my different activities. I have a blowout. I'm going to Vicente's holiday party tonight. I know it's like so late. They always do theirs in January because people are more free and like, Honestly, it's kind of fun to have something to do in January because there's no like really parties going on. So yeah, that's gonna be today. Let's do it. All right, guys, I just had an avocado bagel and had my coffee, had a chill morning, just like doing a lot of cleaning and stuff. And now I'm gonna head to my Pilates class. I just called my Uber. I ended up having to Uber because I missed the bus, but it's okay. <laughs> Hey guys, so yesterday I completely got off the rails with 75 hard and I was so embarrassed about it. So I didn't finish the vlog yesterday because I was like, I was stressed and then I felt so bad about it. And then I was like, I have to tell the vlog, but I was just like, I was so embarrassed. So I was just like, I'm just going to sleep on it. And I always want to be like super authentic with you guys and never like do something crazy online that is just like so unrealistic because my goal is just to be like as transparent and honest with you guys as possible. And unfortunately, I broke 75 hard yesterday in a multitude of ways. I don't think I got 10K steps. Actually, I think I did from just like dancing at the party. So that's good. I guess I did get 10K steps. Not that I was really even trying because I was so stressed. And I had alcohol. So I broke 75 hard and dry January that I just like started to do like on a whim. I just, I had some Prosecco in champagne, kind of like the same thing. I think I probably had a total of like one and a half glasses. But yeah, I broke the no alcohol thing, which is kind of crazy. I don't even know why I did it. I think it was just like the vibes of like everyone drinking and I like the taste of Prosecco. It sounded good. So I had some alcohol. Next, I didn't do my second workout of the day. I just like, I was stressed. I didn't really like time out my day properly. I feel like with 75 hard, you have to be like very rigorous with your planning because it's just, it's a lot to do. And especially when you have like a, a whole life going on outside of it. So yeah, I had my Pilates class, which was amazing. And I guess I, I did go on like many walks, but it, it was just like walking to get to the bus. Like sometimes the walk would be 10 minutes, but I don't think that like counts as a second workout. I had like a second movement in, but 
it wasn't like in my mind it, it didn't count as a second workout so in my pilates class and then i was planning on stretching before i ended up running out of time i didn't stretch before so i was like oh i'll stretch after my pilates class and then when i got home i like had my blowout done and i was like rushing to get ready for Vicente's holiday party, which his company does their holiday party in January, which I know is so random But yeah, and I just got caught up in like the fun of the weekend Honestly, where I forgot about the 75 heart challenge that I had committed myself to and I'm like I'm kind of on the fence about how I feel about it because on one hand like I honestly just had like a really great day yesterday and I know like in 10 years I'm not gonna remember like oh my god that one day that was so fun like I didn't do my second workout and I had like a glass of champagne when I wasn't supposed to. Like I I think the 75 heart challenge is super helpful and it does like push yourself, but I think sometimes it could be like restrictive in nature, which is why I think like challenges as a whole are just like, I like them in theory because it, it makes you be disciplined, but sometimes it's just like, you just gotta have fun and live your life because like we only live once. So I'm conflicted with myself about how I feel about it. I'm definitely embarrassed because I was like telling like all of, social media basically i'm doing the 75 hard challenge and like obviously it's my own version so it's not even like the 75 hard that everyone else is doing and i failed essentially because i like promised myself that i was going to do something and i didn't do it <laughs> and i just want to be honest with you guys because i don't want to be painting like an unrealistic picture of myself online and like i feel like you guys are my friends but i, I know the technical rule is like once you if you fail one day at 75 hard you have to like restart. I think I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna like keep going. I think I'm gonna kind of turn this into a 75 hard soft. So I guess that's just a 75 soft. Yeah, I just, I think that maybe is more conducive with my lifestyle right now. And I think it's, it's a hard thing to do in the winter. Like you would think it's harder in the summer cause like there's so much drinking in the summer, but I feel like winter, is just less fun in general so you're just like, trying to have more fun and i feel like like i don't even know that doesn't even make sense but i'm like rambling at this point but yeah i unfortunately failed 75 hard and i think i'm gonna keep just like trying to incorporate these habits and trying to do like my two workouts a day but i'll just like give myself more grace if it's like two workouts a day five days a week versus like all of the 75 days i don't really know it's hard because I feel like it's one of those things where you're either like all in or you're not and I'm the type of person like I'm I'm kind of like all or nothing like I'm either like super into something going like 200% at it or I'm like 50% or like 0% honestly so like I'm struggling with where to go from here I don't know I don't know what to do <laughs> so yeah this is just like kind of like not <laughs> like I don't even I don't know what I'm doing I'm just being real with you guys I wish I could have like this perfect curated 75 hard inspo vlog where like everything is perfect and i'm hitting all the things but that's just not what happened that's just not my real life i wish i was that disciplined this weekend but also at the end of the day i don't regret it because i did have a really fun weekend I do feel kind of hungover today which i know is crazy but like guys i'm not used to drinking <laughs> and i just i feel like out of it and tired i think i didn't get enough sleep either um i really need good night's rest tonight so we're gonna try to get back at it with my version of 75 soft or hard whatever it is i don't know what to call it you guys it's like my own thing i feel like it's so especially with social media it's like everything needs to fit in this like specific box and this specific label and it needs to match up exactly and i'm like that's not how life works like we are all so individualistic and have like our own things going on distractions unique just circumstances and situations and it's hard to like fit this into like a little box of like this is 75 hard this is how i'm like showcasing it to you guys so anyway that's my update for this vlog it did not end how i thought it was gonna end but yeah i just want to be real with you guys and let me know if you have any tips for getting back on track if any of you guys are doing 75 hard we can like support each other in the comments even though i feel like i'm not even like i am doing it but like i'm not like i'm a failure <laughs> but it's fine if you do this challenge like kudos to you because it is very difficult but it's okay we got this <laughs> all right i'm gonna sign off this vlog here i hope to be just like incorporating these habits more into my upcoming vlogs so stay tuned to see how i end up progressing with everything um, i think i want to just like take today to like clear my head and like figure out what i want to do and yeah 
catch up with you guys soon subscribe for new videos every sunday and wednesday and i love you guys <laughs> bye